Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is Gage. NHD. Okay, so uh, this <laughs> week's episode, we're going to be talking about Clippy's <laughs> new game. Uh, we talk about some fourth quarter stuff as well as horror games. So, uh, pretty cool. We'll see. Uh, we'll get into that in just a little bit. Let's we'll start off with, once again, Cliffy B's game. Okay, so as a, we'll, we'll fill everyone in at home, Cliffy Bill. Cliffy B. Cliffy Bill. Cliffy Bill. Cl Cliffy, <laughs> B. Cliffy Bill. My name is Cliffy Bill. <laughs> Cliffy B was the guy responsible for Gears of War. And, mm -hmm. you know, so many other great games. But well, Gears of War is the most one recently he's Gears of War. A very well respected guy in the gaming <laughs> industry. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people look to him for his opinions because he always, like, really, you know, weird opinions on things that, like, really <laughs> focus on how the community feels. The thing. He just has a bigger audience to talk to. Yeah. Uh, so he shot off his new game a little while ago now, Lawbreakers. Lawbreakers. So I don't know a whole lot about What this. do you know about it? I don't know a whole lot, to be perfectly honest. Nine, what so do you know? You I know Cliffy B and about 15 other people are working on this game. Okay, so here's Lawbreakers. I have not, I've heard the name. I haven't seen anything about Tell it. Tell us. Lawbreakers is a free-to-play PC game. There's no story. There's no single-player campaign. It's, oh, so it's Battlefront. It's <laughs> online-only arena multiplayer and it looks exactly like Unreal uh, Tournament. Uh, exactly like Unreal Tournament. So he's Tournament. making Unreal Tournament again. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. It's like not. It's there. You can oh, put them next to each other, cool. and like it looks like a, a <laughs> HD remake of Unreal Tournament. <laughs> <laughs> not not to take anything away from it. I haven't played it. I there hasn't See, been much about it yet, but it looks. By the sound of the like title, it, to me, it struck me like just l hearing the name Lawbreakers. I'm thinking like Midwest. If you look you know? up, yeah, sure, like because sure. that's the first thing that comes to mind is like Midwest yeah. sheriffs and Something cops like and robbers kind of thing. If you look up the breakdown of where the inspiration for Lawbreakers comes from, it's like a cool, like ready to go story. Here it is. It's like you know after a terrible catastrophe happens and like people, some people are choosing to choose the law and some people choose the, to be a breaker. You know they break the law and it sounds like it sets up for an awesome story. It just, puts, no it just puts like six people against each other online in an so arena. So it's literally Unreal Tournament <laughs> It's Unreal Tournament. And I, again, I don't want to tell you anything about it. I don't know if I'm too excited Tournament. about this. No, it, it looks like Overdrive. Overwatch also. Overwatch? Yeah. But see... That was fun. Blizzard is approaching Overwatch in a totally different scenario. Sure. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I... I but, but then that, again, Blizzard's got a much larger marketing campaign behind them. Also true. So it could just be smoke. I'm not saying the concept is bad, but I feel like... Overwatch is a lot of fun too. What was Over, Overwatch? Overwatch was a lot of fun. Looks, looks really cool. Yeah, you had a chance to play that. Yeah. Right, so did you anyway, play? Yeah, Lawbreakers. I don't. I don't know how to feel. About did you that. play Unreal Tournament? Yeah, I, I played back Unreal in back in the day. I mean, but when it was land based, not online. <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, this. I mean, this gives you the whole thing where we talk about how you guys love having story, you know, in your games. This game has no story from a guy who makes play. great games. <laughs> It comes to console. You know, I, mean, I didn't like Unreal. There's sure. games I didn't like Quake. that like that that can be a lot of fun. I mean, well, it, and you said it's online only. Yeah, yeah. That's where it loses me. I mean, I I'm think, pretty sure it's online only, but it's from what I see. Like there was a game called uh, Forsaken. Uh, oh man, on the 64 <laughs> way back when. Bringing back games that I've not played in. 15, and, and, but it was it was like you had, you were basically had ships and they all had different weapons and it was, it was pretty cool maps. The weapons anybody could get, you could kind of just run into a room and get it. But someone else might be coming in from mm -hmm. a different direction that could blow you up. It was kind of it was cool. It was just a multiplayer game that was a lot of fun. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying you can't do it. You can't do it. But you know, like you said, Battlefront is that game. Destiny is that game. Overwatch is that game. I mean, I don't know if Unreal can come back and capture that audience. I don't know how well it'll do. Well, but I mean, you said it's free to play. It's free to play, as from what I've seen. I don't know if it's going to be play to win. Real quick, we're talking about Lawbreakers, Cliffy B's new game that's coming out to apparently uh, PC. It's PC right now. Yeah. It will probably do really well with the Unreal crowd. Sure. It's For a Twitch sure. shooter, it will, but there's different I mean, that's just characters. That's that's what they play. They yeah. play Quake, they play Doom, they play Unreal. I mean, that's all they play. Yeah. But another note on this is Sony is very interested in this game as well. So is now, Phil Spencer. Are they are they gonna are they gonna go straight to the esports crowd and just try to go after that market? Or? All I know is Cliffy B tweeted out what last week that Sony was in the house in like all caps, like he was really excited about it. So. It's possible it'll come to consoles. Yeah, and then Phil Spencer also was said he was like, well, you know, last time Cliffy B had a game debut on the Xbox, it worked out okay. Worked out okay. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah. So I imagine, I imagine they said uh, they don't want to look at any console options until it launches on PC, which is next year, right. 2016. So they wanted the PC launch first. Um, 
and it looks like they're going to be announcing characters along the way before it comes. It looks like bat Battleborn characters, if but it's just Unreal Tournament. PC, will you play it? No. No. no, I don't play anything on my PC. I don't. <laughs> my computer no offense, PC, PC players, but we. I like right, my console. Well, I'm sorry. I like my console. I like my controllers. By the way, we should also mention that uh, yeah, it's just easier. Just on a side note, Mortal Kombat, as some people already know, was canceled for the PS3 and 360. For those of you who don't know, sorry to break that news to you. Uh, so that game will not be coming out on those consoles. It's unfortunate. Thanks, Will. I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> just throw that out Will's there. really heartbroken. Yeah, totally heartbroken. Well, it was touted to come out for it. Some people haven't made the jump yet. Are you upset that it's not out? On um, Xbox 360 and PS3? I'm just saying, for the people that haven't upgraded their console yet that was expecting to play the game, I see they his might be point. angry. Yeah. I see his point, but I've moved on. Not yeah, every, not, every, not everybody has enough money to go out and buy stuff, depending on what their situation is. We're still yeah, really two years removed from the launch of those consoles. Yeah, I know. By this point, if you're not moving well, on, you're probably playing the old games you already have. A lot of people, they're still releasing games for 360 and PS3. I know they are. There's a reason why. <laughs> it's a small saying. reason. <laughs> a lot Not, nothing against, on. you know, you people. <laughs> <laughs> you people. <laughs> That's a Man, terrible that sounds, I said, that later, After I already said you, I was like, there's no way I could say this without, without, without ruining you, you, it. So you, you people have, is what came out. last generation gamers. <laughs> yeah. That would have been a nice save. Nope. But you had to go with people. Yep. Of all the words <laughs> in the English language you could have picked, you picked people. I could have said way worse you things. You gamers. You but I'm on the radio. Gamers. So, I mean... Listen, Xbox 360, PS3, people, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but not that much. There are plenty of cheap options to move on to greater consoles or uh, even a PC. So. Let's just move on. Sure. And, and we got a second segment coming segment. up right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, when we get back, we're going to talk about fourth quarter games um, and, and some of that kind of thing, what you're playing. Uh, and we'll get into that right after this. Hey everybody, what's happening? Welcome back. Uh, we just got done talking about Lawbreakers, Cliffy B's new game, and also PS3 and 360 Mortal Kombat is canceled. Sorry. Uh, my name's Will, this is Gage. Hi. This is Nine. Yo. And let's talk about the games that we're playing now, uh, kind of games that are coming up this year. He's just being weird over there. Yeah, well, you know, it's the part of the course. <laughs> uh, Drank my Red Bull. Not so, We'll let you continue. Right, yeah, I got this over here. All right, uh, nine. So let's start with you. Uh, what games are you playing right now? Um, oh my goodness! You before we get into list? Q4, <laughs> we're right, we're right there. Um, well, I wish I was playing Until Dawn, but I haven't picked it up yet. You'll probably be playing Fallout. I will definitely be playing Fallout okay. when it comes out. That's my next like have to buy game on the list. We'll sure. be playing that. Um, um, we'll be I'm playing probably. Currently playing a No Stealth, No Kill, Dishonored run. I'm streaming that. What about uh, what, when's No Man's Sky come out? There's that, no release date. There's no release date for no that. Yet. Date, yeah. That's what we were predicting. You guys are talking about two different things, by the way. Just saying, fourth quarter. There's some games that I know that we're all yeah gonna that we're going to play. We're talking right. about what are we playing right now? What are we playing? Now? Before what are we playing right we get now? There. I'm, <laughs> like I said, I'm currently streaming a no stealth, no kill, clean hands, super hard, dishonored run. How's that going? Swimmingly well, actually. Yes, I said swimmingly. That's no, I'm good. surprised you're playing a video game well. I watched yeah. a little bit of your your uh, your I mean, stream. It's there's certainly good. some restarts. Oh yeah. You, but you know. Is that total restart? No, like, checkpoint restart. Okay. There there's some uh, points though where you go for long periods of time because you're thinking and really into the gameplay where you just you have to really you have to really <laughs> consider your options in that game. <laughs> That's why you can check chat. All right. So yeah, dishonored. Dishonored. Rocket League. Rocket League. I, Rocket I finally League. got into Rocket League. Uh, I've been playing a lot of the seasons, just playing against the computer, yeah. which is fun and very frustrating all at the same time. Because the computer never misses. Oh, it, sometimes yes, it's just you guys are just bad. Oh, dude, it's whatever it's, gauge. And whatever. then, but I started playing online. It's a lot of fun. It's cool. Yeah, there's some good people out there, and then there's some not so good people out there. Okay, yeah, you. Rocket League. What else <laughs> you playing? Uh, Batman still. Okay. Nice. I haven't beat it. <laughs> are you playing play Batman? Bloodborne? Witcher. I'm so surprised at you, man. You you went on this Bloodborne thing for months. Can't even finish it. I can't even, even like it enough to finish it. One of his favorite games. I've got to stay up on games, yo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I dropped the yo in there. It's like a yo MTV raps in here. <laughs> that was a great show. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I love that show, man. I'm so engaged on that one, but <laughs> I like it. MTV raps. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I just uh, there's so much stuff come out this year that I was like, I gotta play this, gotta play this, gotta play this, gotta play this, and right. it just piled on so fast that I have to go back 
to the beginning of the year's game. Call yourself a fan. And then I got the Dying Light expansion pack coming out that I'm going to have to play. Looks right. great, by the way. Yeah, yeah, cars and zombies finally. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Cool stuff. Play All right, well, Gage, uh, what are you playing right now? Uh, playing a lot of Rocket League. Really liking it. Yeah. Having fun. You know, it's a great online you know, multiplayer game with no story. I'm loving it. Just no. mindless gameplay. You're an idiot. Five minute matches. You're an idiot. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a lot of fun. I, I really like the competitive level of Rocket League because they're like I'm in different matches all the time that are just ranging of who's good and who's not, and it's you know it's fun to see, especially people who are like doing things that I'll never be able to do. Yeah. Um, like bicycle hits in the air. Yeah. And scoring goals with those bicycles. Yeah. Hits. Or just flying for some reason. Yeah. Um, playing until dawn, but we'll talk about that soon. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh, what else am I playing? Rare replay. I'm still burning through. Great. Yeah, yeah great. playing old games. You know, it's not you know, exactly what I want to do, but I get to you know get the oh, achievements for it. We're still man. playing that. We we, huh? we love games. Platoon. Platoon. Uh, I haven't played Splatoon in a while, mm -hmm. so I've missed a lot of the That's DLC sad. updates. But right now we're talking about games that we're playing. <laughs> Getting ready to so fourth quarter. Once again, my name's Will. Game, this is Gage. Yeah. This is not. Yo. What else you got? Uh, I mean, Smash Bros. is still in there. It's in my rotation. You know, I'll go back to Batman every once in a while to play challenge maps. Just kind of keep me I got. And I do need to play the DLC for that. Yeah, I need to get more DLC for Batman. I should do that. I just can't wait for the Killer Croc DLC. That's the only DLC I care about. You know, you should finish Bloodborne before you do anything else. I should finish a lot of things before I do anything else. Yeah, why would you start Dishonored without finishing Bloodborne? <laughs> Because I have a problem. <laughs> yeah, I have the same problem. I just start games that I don't, and I never, I never finish them. Never I'm finish them. sitting on the Witcher. I will, I will finish Bloodborne before the end of the year. That Did you much finish I The Witcher? You. I'll probably not finish Never the finish The Witcher. I'll, I'll finish never the Witcher. finish The Witcher. I guarantee it. All right, for me, I'm playing Rocket League as well. A sure. um, lot of fun. Like I said, quick matches, five-minute matches. I mean, it's fun to play against the computer, but it's a lot of fun online as well. Yeah. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Um... Batman, uh, I finished. I uh, 100%ed it. I probably won't go back and do. I do need to do the DLC, which yeah, the I'll DLC. probably do that. It's not yeah, bad. I mean, DLC is extra. It's new content. It's not so. great. I did finally finish Bloodborne, so yeah. I don't, I'm not playing it now, but I just got done finishing Wow, what a it. fan. Yeah, I finished it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are jerks. I'm a weird creature. <laughs> I won't tell say. Um, it doesn't make sense. You could say anything. Um, Metal Gear. Yeah, I mean, Metal Gear, yeah. someone screamed outside. That was weird. Uh, Metal Gear is going to pull me away from games here soon once I actually open the plastic. Uh, Mario Maker is out now. Um, going to dive right into that. Why are you not playing Madden? And I'll get into Madden eventually. I, I'll do it when the Ravens look like they're not going to make the playoffs. I'll be like, well, you know what? If, I can't, if they can't do it, I'll do it. So I'll get to the Super Bowl, and I'll celebrate by myself in my room with you know, my Ravens with the trophy. That's about it. A lot of cool things coming to Madden, so I'm, I'm excited to pick it up, but haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah, a lot of good games coming out. NBA looks good. Uh, that should be out soon. Uh, WWE actually looks good. I think. I'm going to pick that up. I think yeah, you're a fan I'm, of that. I, as well. I, that's a guilty pleasure it's game. It's a guilty pleasure. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> not. Nothing really to be guilty that. about that. It's a great game. I just want to download Chris Benoit. And his name <laughs> is Josh. Oh, nice. <laughs> cool. Is that, is that poor taste? So no. That's awesome, is what that no. is. <laughs> he was a wrestler first. Before. Anyway, okay. uh, I mean, so yeah, uh, other games, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Destiny. I'll probably dabble. Are you guys excited for I mean, we don't have a lot more time. Taking King's coming out soon. Yeah. I'll wait. You're going to no, wait? I'm taking King. I'm going to play it. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Um, Destiny is good. Uh, I think, uh, what else did I do? I did um, Smash Brothers. I have not played for a while. I, I still so haven't Mario even downloaded Kart, Ryu, but Mario Kart I haven't played for a while. I so, still have it. Love it. Um, yeah, we. Rocket League. Uh, Will's counting, like, what else do I play? What's my plan? Um, Metal Gear, I'll probably do that for a I've been while. playing a lot of stuff on my Vita lately. Nice. Yeah. Well, we'll lots of stuff horror. out there. Uh, anyway, when we get back, we'll talk about horror games, and we got a lot of stuff to talk about, so we'll be back right after this. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Um, my name's Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is Gage. Headbull. It's in the can. Almost out of juice. Give juice. Me. Huh? Gives you wings. Yeah. Um, mm. Mm -mm. Doesn't give you wings. They got in trouble for that, remember? No. Well, it still gives you wings. Red Bull? They got in big trouble for the wings thing. Did someone jump? Red Bull know. is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Best energy you drink out there. Drink it. Um, I <laughs> so, horror games. So, let's talk about this. Uh, this genre has come a long way over the years and has many different changes. Probably um, my second favorite franchises. Yeah? Yeah. Um, 
some of the most popular games in the series, Resident Evil, Silent of course. Four. Silent, Silent Hill. Resident Evil 2. I mean, we've had a, a year where we've seen two awesome console horror games out. Well, one was a demo. But. Outcast. Outlast. Outlast, sorry. <laughs> Outcast is a great band. Okay. Sure. <laughs> you don't like Andre 3000 and Big Boy? This just it's, it's pretty good. Pretty anyway, good Outlast uh, was out uh, this year as well. Is actually again. I was talking about PT. So yeah, PT, PT, of course. Uh, but but you know, until dawn is out. Uh, yeah. People are loving. Great, this game. great game. Quick playthrough, probably six seven hours to go through. But once again, you can change the ending each time uh, depending on your decisions. There's a lot of different stuff. Great you concepts. Can do. Um, but what do you guys want to see next from this genre? Silent Hills. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing you want to see? That's the only thing I really want to see. Yeah. Well, you're going to be, you'll probably finish Bloodborne before you see Silent I'll Hills. I'll probably finish Witcher 3 before I ever see Silent Hills. There's a cool bet. Um, what do I want to see next from horror games? I don't actually play a lot of horror games. I still have Alien to finish up. You got Until Dawn. I've got you Until got Dawn. On Bought Alien. Until Dawn because it was a really cool concept, and I'm loving it. I absolutely love Until Dawn. You like Alien as well? Alien Isolation? Alien nice makes you nervous. Really <laughs> yeah, that it's, really it's the jump scare. Well, supposed thing. to, right? Yeah, makes it really <coughs> easy. Um, I, I don't play. That, I only play that when I'm with nine. Like I don't play yeah. that at home by myself. I'll never get past yeah. it if I'm by myself. That's our. Baby. That's our like buddy game. Not a baby. Yeah. One, you know, it's more fun. <laughs> when he's there. We'll play unless right. I got somebody there. It's not okay. You need somebody to hold his hand. <laughs> yeah. Change his diaper. All right. So, so what do we want to see? What's next for this genre, though? What's it, what's it going to take to make a triple A title and from this this kind of genre? Probably more celebrity endorsements, actually. You think so? I think so. So Hayden Panettiere was. Yeah, Hayden Panettiere. That, that was a big marketing point for um, Until, Dawn. Until Dawn. And I played it with my girlfriend in front of me, and she didn't know anything about the game. But immediately she saw Hayden Panettiere and recognized her right away. I know that. Chick. And she's like, "Hey, that's Hayden Panettiere." I was like, "Well, then they Same did their job." Later, yeah, you know? the Perfect. Um, yeah, but I, and, and even Silent Hills, we saw, you know, had um, Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus at yeah. the end of the, you know, ready to go for Silent <coughs> Hills. Of course, it never happened, or oh, isn't going to happen. And it was being co-produced with Guillermo del Toro. Exactly. Right? I mean, I think we're going. I think a lot of those guys want to do horror games. They just don't know how to make something last for like 12 hours of gameplay rather than an hour and a half of a movie. Right. Well, that's yeah. just why I'm, Until Dawn's a great concept because you can change it, it is and replay it. Basically, replay. a slasher horror film. But it's a fixed camera video game, right? And it's awesome. It's cool <laughs> stuff. Man. I would like to see more of a psychological kind of thing, okay. like okay. Silent Hills was doing. It was the jump scares, but it had a lot of psychological stuff going on. Like the longest yeah, house ever. The thing with yeah, PT that, that I really liked was, um, <laughs> like, there there was a couple of times where I knew kind of what I was supposed to do, but I was looking down the hallway thinking, I really don't want to go down there again. Yeah. <laughs> Every nice time you get it messes with your head in a way that just, you know something bad is going to happen, but you don't know when, how, or what. Oh, it was great stuff, man. It, and the stuff that they did was just so beyond anything you've ever seen in a horror game. It was it was cool. Magnificent. I it's mean, the only jump, way I can use to describe it. It had everything. It had the jump scares, but it also had everything else. Uh, by the way, we're talking about horror games. What do we want from the genre? What's next? So, I mean, yeah, I see what you're saying. So, how do you take that experience and turn it into a 12 hour gameplay? Uh, type I don't of think thing? you need to make it a 12 hour game. I think a six hour a game. story. Sure. I mean, there's got to be a story. Different there. scenarios, different settings. Atmosphere. I mean, it's all about that. Atmosphere. But I mean, PT was basically a demo to get you ready for another Silent Hills, Silent Hill game. But I mean, right. there was I didn't see any brilliant concept. I didn't oh, see yeah. any direction from it past that, other than just a demo to get you to make sure well, that you know you can still be creeped out by something so simple. The demo did its job in saying, if I can expect a full game of this. Sign me up, and that's why everybody went nuts. Well, over. what created more hype for PT, for Silent Hills? Was the initial PT demo and people playing it online, or the cancellation of PT and you know the getting rid of it and Silent Hills wasn't going to happen? I'm going to say the demo, man. People went crazy for it. Sure. There were more yeah, there of the, the streamers doing the the, the little let's play mm -hmm. things and just people doing the jump scares. It's crazy. You think that opened up the backlash? And it had the, the 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 celebrity. Yeah, don't uh, read it. So you know. Did that open up doors for people to make copycats of PT to fail yes. miserably to ruin the horror? Because there's currently one that's really really good. Which one? Um, I always get the name wrong. So oh well, I, it's I ask you. something. Okay, I know. But what you're it's talking the same general. Yeah. It's done by a bunch of Swedish guys. I don't. I don't even know if they have a studio. We'll put the name, name somewhere in here. So what about uh, if Outlast, you're watching though, online? I mean, that's a, Outlast is a totally different style horror game. Yeah, it's a dark night vision camera kind of run for your life game. There's not really any combat. That game reminded me more. Of I mean, Silent there's no Hills. combat in Silent Hills or PT, or Silent Hill. but Silent Hill 
in the past has had gunplay and you know the different kind of puzzles and stuff. Mm. Outlast is just run from point A to point B without getting caught. Basically, and there was obviously there was we'll story get there. more Resident Evil games. We'll probably get yeah. another one of those. I'm sure we'll get another. Sure. Resident we're getting the two remakes. So yeah, that's uh, happening. Yes, we are. Gage, well, yeah. what, what do you want from the? What's the next? If you were going to go out, what's going to take your money out of your wallet and make you go buy this experience? Until Dawn Two. Until Dawn Two. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke I was going to make. Um, I Beat I like I like the whole um, decision based. You know, even though it's a quick time event, basically in a game, I like the whole. You know, your decision is what's de- uh, choose. Your own adventure. Yeah. If, uh, if Goosebumps wants to make a, a, book, game, a game, I, I, I would probably it. you know play that. So we'll see. <laughs> you know, actually, one of the features I liked in uh, Arkham Knight Batman was when the camera would be on one thing and you turn around and look at something because something else happened. When you turn back, everything's different. Yeah. Like you said, some of the psychological stuff. It's, that kind I of love experience for me. Horror. I'd love to see a game like that. I think you can create the atmosphere and a really cool experience see, like that. And that's what's going to keep you busy for I 12 I want hours, right? the game. I don't mind. So anyway, that, that's all we got. So <laughs> let us know what you think. Uh, check us out on YouTube.com slash PSBGTV and on our new website, PressStartTV.com. Um, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Later.